Good morning, good morning, good morning. The sun has smiled on me. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, this morning I want to talk to you right quick about two situations I had on yesterday. Um, I'm not going to put this in my book, Princess, but I want you all to know that I deal with racism or uh, discrimination stuff all the time. And um, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I have not. Uh, good morning, Tyrese. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this, uh, unfortunately, I haven't figured out um, anything to say to them that will make them change. So I'm not trying to change them. Is what I was trying to say. Okay. So truth feels hurt this morning. So my first incident actually happened at my job. And so this person with power came in. They always come in barging in. Um, I work in an area where you know it's locked, so I have to let you in. Uh, so they always come in barging in and when they barge in, they don't say hello or anything. And then this particular person needs to be saying hello to everybody, uh, because of their position. Okay. And so, um, they barge in. And so I, I have learned, I've been working for this same place, uh, since 2015. Okay. Uh, under two different leaderships. The first, um, set was nicer. True feels hurt. Okay, so um, anyway, they always barge in. So they never speak. And then they go directly to where it is that they want to go. And so when they go into the particular place, you know, tr go, I have to stop them. Because instead of them acknowledging the fact that I'm sitting there, they ignored all of this. They know all of my whole, they don't see nothing. Okay. So they just barge in. They go where they think they're going to go. So then I interrupt their flow with saying that who they're looking for is not there. And so then they want to be snappy. What do you mean they're not here? Just like that. And so, you know, because I want to see Jesus, because I want to see those gates and those pearls that I've never, ever in my life seen, uh, because I want to see Jesus and all that, you know, I got to try to hold my peace because I, I don't have time. So then, what do you mean they're not here? Well, they have gone to such and such and such a place, right? Then they say, no, they couldn't have. So now you're going to argue with me about where these folks go, but you don't know where they're at because you coming down here to see them. See, this, let me tell y'all something about foolishness. You don't know where the people are, but you're going to come down here and tell me where they are. If you knew where they were, why didn't you go to them? Why did you come down here barging in this area? But see, I ain't say all that. I had to ask the Holy Ghost to come down. I ain't say all that. But this is the sideways racism. And I'm going to tell you how I know it's racism. So, uh, I tell him that the people not there. Then he said, what do you mean? I said, well, sir, uh, excuse me. I said, I'm about to leave. I have worked for this uh, business for 2000, since 2015. I said, uh, I'm going to have to ask you to watch your tone with me. So then he looks at me and he says, well, I don't think that I said anything to you that was out of, I said, watch your tone. I didn't say what you said. Okay. But I didn't say that either. I said, sir, it's my perception and not yours. And the way that you're speaking to me is disrespectful. So then he looks and finally looks at my name, leans and looks to see my name. Then he said, well, Miss Good. And he made a funny face. And then he said, what makes you think, look, that I'm being rude? I said, sir, I never used those words. I just asked you to watch your tongue with me. I never used those words about you being rude. Because honestly, this is what I did say. Honestly, I think that it's just that's the way you are. And that's what we did. We kept looking at each other. So then he said, well, I want to apologize or whatever. Then he said, I don't know if I've ever met you. Well, what was sad about that part right there was uh, we've been at different functions. We've been at different functions. My husband spoke here. I danced here. We actually had a chance to meet you one-on-one. -on -one. You've been coming and busting in this office several different times. I'm the same black girl. Just have maybe changed. That's all. 
that's the only thing that I probably do that make me look anything different. Like today I got this ponytail in. Um, but that's about it. But yesterday I was regular, so I'm just assuming. So then we look at each other and and so I explained. Cause this when the Lord give you the opportunity, you, you gotta speak intelligently. You can't just be saying stupid stuff. So I explained. I said, Sir, this has been going on since I been here and I said, I, I I think it's sad that you don't know who I am. I think it's sad that you don't. Well, you know how many people I meet every day? I said, no, I, I, I don't. I don't. Um, but what I'm saying is, um, even if you don't remember my name, even if you don't remember my face, even if you don't remember ever speaking to me, you still can speak to me like I'm somebody. You still can acknowledge the fact, sir, when you come into this area, that I'm a person. I said, actually, the way you act is like I'm just the doorkeeper. So when I unlock this door, you just feel like you could just run back through here and ignore the fact that I'm a whole human being sitting right here that you can actually stop and speak to, say hello to. But I understand because this is your personality. This is your character. This is who you are. I don't expect anything. So then he paused. He did a funny little look, rubbed his hand down the side, and then he said, well, Miss Goody, I'll take that. I'll take that because that's not the first time I've heard that. Well, if that's not the first time, see, this is what the Lord wouldn't let me say. If that's not the first time that you've had to do that, that somebody told you that you act a certain way, that you're being a certain way. So then this is how I found out that it's sideways racism. Let's speed on up. Uh, I spoke with another secretary that's another color. She said, oh, he's so nice to me. I said, oh. I said, well, he don't see me. Then she said, no, he's always been so nice. He's asked me how my kids are doing. He's asked me, um, you know, what's going on with me. He asked me how are things coming at the job. I said, really? Then I spelled the person's name. I gave the person title. I spelled the person's name. I was, I was shocked. She said, oh, yeah. She said, and then she named other ladies, other secretaries, other administrative assistants. She named other people. Uh -huh. She named other people they had been nice to. I said, oh, well, that's why me and him was supposed to have that conversation. Because uh, let me tell y'all something. Y'all trying to play. So then the next incident, uh, after she said that, because after I looked at the ladies, after I looked at, took into account what she said about the ladies, I realized I'm different. Uh, so I didn't want to call the man out. But now I notice if I go back and play in my head, there were several times when he acted a certain way. And there were things that he did uh, when we were in his face that I remember. So then the Lord brought it back to me last night. So then I go to this function to meet up with what these other people, these other people who say they want to help us and they want to, you know, be there for our transition. And if uh, we need anything, anything at all, they anything, just anything, just let them know they're here to help. So I caught four or five lies in the conversation. I caught four or five of them, but I ain't come true feels hurt. Um, I ain't call them out, nothing. I'm chilling because I want to see Jesus. I'm, I ain't got time to be telling everybody off or getting everybody straight. That's not my job. It's with Truth Feels Hurt. Truth Feels Hurt is just to uh, bring awareness to lies. You know what I'm saying? Bring awareness to my truth, you know, my stuff, my issues. So anyway, long story short, let's move it. So this one right here finna trip y'all out. So the lady, um, I'm talking to one person. Yes, yes, Pastor. Yes. Uh, so here we go with this lady. She actually, when we are meeting, everybody is shaking hands and introducing themselves. So I don't know what she did before she got to me, but I know what she did after. So we're at the place. I'm going to put this phone down so y'all can see how she did her hands when it was time for me to introduce myself or her. She, she started with me, but it was time for me to say I'm princess. So she said, I don't want to, I don't want to shake your hands. So I said, oh, Okay. She said, oh, yeah, because I don't feel well. I said, oh, oh, okay. I said, well, so then my crazy self, I touched her shoulder. I said, okay, then, girl, I understand. You know, because it is what it is. So then she asked me my name again. Excuse me, what did you say your name was? And then I said, Princess. She said, oh, I thought that's what you said. 
Okay. So then, oh, uh, she didn't want to shake my hands. So then, I'm going to check you the whole time. Let me tell you why, because some of y'all don't know how to act. So I checked her the whole time. So I'm looking around the room. I noticed that she touched somebody else. I noticed that she actually touched somebody's hand. Uh, like, not shaking it, but you know how you walk up to somebody and you're talking to somebody and you touch their hand and you say, you know, girl, or, you know, hey, like that. She touched somebody's hand. So I said, oh, okay. And then... Uh, in our conversation, let's go back to our conversation. In our conversation, she said, um, well, let me tell you about our organization. And then she went to tell me about the organization. And then she said, um, I said, well, we're not going to be here. You know, we're going to leave or uh, whatever the case may be. Y'all, the whole time she's looking at me, she's looking at me like this. So I was like, okay, father. What is this? So then when she said she wasn't going to touch my hand, she wasn't going to shake my hand, whatever, because she, she's sick. She don't feel good. Uh, she allergic to something. Um, anyway, I'm trying to fast forward. So then when I started talking about we were going to leave or whatever, she would look like she got excited. I promise you. Looked like she got excited. She was smiling. She was talking about, well, over where you're going, they have an organization too. You probably can get involved with them, blah, 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 whatever. I said, well, no, I'm not leaving. We're not leaving until July. So, you know, we, we have until July to be here, um, whatever. So she was like, oh, okay. Well, um, whole man, whole face change again. Oh, okay. Well, um, it was nice meeting you. And, and what did you say your name was again? I said, Princess. I went and said, I am. I looked around the room. I watched as these people mingle with each other, whatever. I looked at my husband. I said, you know, this is sideways, miss. And I'm telling you, y'all can play if y'all want to. Racism has not gone anywhere with people. And sometimes I feel like I'm being I'm being discriminated against just because I'm a black woman. And I tell people, I ain't give y'all the harsh details or some of the comments because I ain't trying to stir up nothing on this live. I gave it to you the clean, where we can stay safe version because some of y'all are on my team and don't mind taking off your earrings and your shoes to help me with this fight, this race. This is not how we're going to fight. I'm going to fight by keep being great. When the lady asked me who I was, she said she had already looked at my LinkedIn, this other lady. She looked at my LinkedIn, but she wasn't sure if she had sent me a friend request. I wasn't sure. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I sent it already. You know what you sent that already. But anyway, uh, we live in a world where this stuff is real. And so when I used to tell my mama that people had an issue with me being light-skinned and we had to actually, it's this part going to be in princess, we had to actually uh, do some stuff and hide and sneak to try to catch this lady that was being mean to me because I was light-skinned. Or we had to, uh, because my name is princess, people want to pick and stuff. Hey, Jessica, people want to pick and start stuff and be doing stupid stuff, saying stupid stuff. Let me tell you something. We live in a world where by now this stuff ought to, y'all ought to already know. But because, listen to me what the Holy Ghost told me. Don't go into the room flashing nothing. Stay humble, princess. Don't go into the room trying to let these people know, first of all, why y'all trying to belittle somebody and make it seem like, like nobody talked to me, okay, other than that, that lady, the introduction people, the two ladies. Nobody else said anything to me. Now, could I have gone around the room and spoke to everybody? Yeah, I could have. But let me tell you something. Once I got uncomfortable, I went over into my corner. I should have never went into the corner. But the Holy Ghost told me. That was Princess went in the corner. But the Holy Ghost told me, it's all right for you to take a seat. It's all right for you to take a seat. You don't have to get people told. I told you that I would make a table prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. I told you that the people that come up against you, I was going to come up against them. It's in my word. He reminded me that your reputation will speak for itself. He reminded me that in some rooms, no matter what I do, no matter how I uh, help the community, no matter what I put back in, no matter what I say, no matter how I say it, the color of my skin is going to interrupt that because some of y'all don't understand that we are like eggs. Eggs, no matter what color the shell is, the dog on inside is the same. But he told me to hold my peace because somebody else would speak for me. Somebody else would 
come. You don't have to fight everybody. You don't have to get everybody told. We live in a bad, crazy world where even in our past, so black people going against black people. When we speaking to each other in a Walmart, y'all acting funny. Y'all acting crazy. I said all of that in the beginning so I can fix this story so I can tell y'all just how this crazy this stuff look. We're supposed to be on teams and stuff. Y'all hating on one another. Some of y'all want to invite me to some of y'all events because you think that I'm going to overtake the room. Listen, if you that, look, if your smile thinking is that just like that where you feel like princess is going to come overtake the room, you are exactly right because it's my spirit. It's not me. It's the spirit that God has given me. And so you don't understand that together we can make things great. And and, and then Hispanics are down here hating no other Hispanics. Black, listen, I'm breaking it down. Black men that are dating Hispanics are um, uh, looking at black women crazy. If you want, baby, what you looking at me like that for? What are you, what, what you worried about if you want? I got a whole husband, a whole, a whole marriage, a happy one. I'm excited. But they looking at you sideways. You looking at you crazy. This is sideways racism. Well, we always talking about what folks is doing inside the race, outside the race or whatever. It's pe racism, period, and I'm tired of it. But guess what? That battle right there, all I can do is as my platform opens is to speak up against it and, and try to show as much love because this is how I feel like you break it. And that's honesty. I feel like you break it by, you know, reaching out. When that lady said she didn't want to touch me and I touched her, if she, if, if it was about her being sick, let me just be real with you this morning. If it was about her being sick, me touching her would not have made her move. Because you didn't want to shake my hand. I get it. You don't feel good. You got a cold. You been coughing in your hands. Okay. You touching these other people. I'm glad you like me enough not to get me sick. That's how I have to look at stuff. But when I touch, I say, oh, I understand. Right there. Then you don't move like that because sick ain't on your shoulder, is it? And you making faces. But I know what it is. Y'all judge people. And we I ain't talking about just one side. I'm talking about even in my race. Y'all judge people based on their hair. Y'all judge people based on their clothes. Y'all judge people. Y'all think y'all know who you're talking to. You think you know. And then my LinkedIn is not set up. But I'm getting ready to set it up. Because I see how y'all work. See, y'all want to see what I'm about. And I haven't set that up right. I got it open. But I ain't set it up right. Let me go on and set it up so that you'll know. So that way when God make my name great. You'll wish that you had. You'll wish that you. I'm trying to tell you, you'll wish that you had acknowledged the fact that I was in the room. I'm not being cocky. I'm telling you that some of y'all ignore the fact that some of us have gifts and y'all hating on the wrong thing. You looking at my color, you don't understand what I bring. You don't understand my anointing. You don't understand that, baby, when you get in such a situation, you may need me to pray. And prayer don't come with color. See, the things that you really need in this world, the stuff that you really need in this lifetime, it don't come. You won't associate color. When you really get in trouble, when you need somebody who got an anointing on them, girl, you will ignore that color. Sure will. And then that person that came into my job yesterday all crazy. Let me tell you something. It's because of my prayers. Because I be praying for you. Because you be acting crazy. Every time you act crazy, instead of getting you told, I was praying for you. I was praying that when them people put you out your position, set you down for a little while, that you could get back in here because other people was hating on you. I'm, I'm a prayer warrior, and I promise you the Lord told me before the, I judge you, sir, to pray for you. So the reason why you're able to come back into this building, into this establishment, is because the prayers of the righteous. Y'all need to stop looking at color and look at the righteousness. You be hating on some demon slayers. How about that? You be hating on some demon slayers, and which is stupid, because you don't know what I bring. You don't know what I, how about this? Listen to this, y'all, and then I'm going to hang up this thing. The people that are at the place trying to network, trying to get jobs, let me tell you, I am an employer, not just an employee. That's what you don't understand. As an entrepreneur, I get letters from Texas, the city of El Paso in the state of Texas all the time asking me, am I ready to start hiring? That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't know what. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Tori. You don't know what you're going to need. You're acting crazy. You don't know where I'm going to be. You don't know what I'm going to be doing. 
Why are you sitting in this room looking at me and not look? And inside, I didn't look at me anymore. I promise you, I paid attention. I opened up. I said, God, see, I want my eyes to always be open. Racism is not something that's not real. Why we try to sit up here and act like it's not. It's real. Racism is real. So I'm going to go on into my job. That person told me that they, if the next time they run into me, they will remember me. That's what they told me at my job. They will remember me, and that won't happen again. That won't happen again, they say. Uh, but I told them, I said, you do this. And so if I ever get the opportunity before I leave, I'm going to say something else that the Holy Spirit gave to me after they left. If I run into them, so if I run into them, that's going to be my sign that it's all right for me to speak at that time. All right? So y'all be blessed today. That's that sideways racism. Don't y'all participate in this foolishness. You don't know who you're going to need. The way Revelations is set up, if you go ahead and read it, you may need food from a, a black person. You may need food from a Mexican. You may need some food. I'm just trying to tell you the way this world is set up, you may need something. You may need something from these people that you acting crazy with because they color. Because you don't know nothing else about them because you ain't talked to them long enough. You don't know where they come from. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know where they be. And then in the conversation, y'all belittling folks and side them the messages. Side them the message. This group is for, this organization is for. Y'all have a blessed day. True feels hurt.